What's up everybody, it's Josh from Off Grand Horror, back with another horror movie review. Today we'll be talking about the 2001 film Hannibal, or as they should have called it, this f***ing guy. Dude, that guy's freaking terrifying. Mason Verger, I think's the character's name, absolutely terrifying. I mean, he's way scarier than freaking Hannibal the Cannibal, right? Hannibal the Cannibal, slurping on Danimal while petting an animal, you know? That guy? No. This guy looks like that. And he's a freaking pedophile, dude? This is the worst person in the world. That makes Hannibal the Cannibal basically freaking Dexter Morgan. He, he John travolta him. And all he did the whole movie is... <laughs> Just so much of that, dude. Just so... When he freak... When he, when he wanted a drink. When he wanted a drink and he looks at the guy and he goes... Uh, Hannibal, for you who don't know, uh, here's a quick synopsis. His genius undeniable, his evil unspeakable, his name, Hannibal. After having successfully eluded the authorities for years, Hannibal peacefully lives in Italy in disguise as an art scholar. Trouble strikes again when he's discovered, leaving a deserving few dead in the process. He returns to America to make contact with now disgraced agent Clarice Starling, who is suffering the wrath of a malicious FBI rival as well as the media. Yes, yeah, so this was a sequel to Silence of the Lambs. They replaced the main actress. It's no more Jodie Foster. Now it's Julianne Moore. That's unfortunate. No one likes when, especially when someone played their part so well, to just replace them for the sequel. Like, you know. This movie also had Ray Liotta, right? That's voice of my childhood. Tommy Versetti, Grand Theft Auto Vice City. That's right, I said childhood played that movie played that movie played that game way too young but turned out just fine <laughs> there's people that play that game that don't turn out fine and there's people that even become police officers my cousin became a police officer he's the one who introduced me to the game you know there's there's different realms of people i know cops i know robbers that's not a joke that's the truth <laughs> anyway getting off topic here no the freaking got way more terrifying uh, which, by the way, he's played by Gary Oldman, dude. Gary Oldman, a.k.a. Sirius Black from Harry Potter. I know what some people are, you know Gary Oldman from, yes, I do, okay? Shut up. Mm. Gary Oldman is Sirius Black, and he's also freaking, uh, all I'm saying is this guy can give Lord Voldemort a run for his money, right? Lord Voldemort, right? Just a wizard who wants power, and he's evil, or he's, he's evil, but it, look, all I'm saying is if I ran into a pedophile that looked like this, Full stop. If I ran into a pedophile, period. Am I saying it right? I'd figure it out. For the people who don't watch Harry Potter, you say that and it's like a freaking gunshot to the head. It kills them. Neville, I'm really, really sorry about this. Hannibal the Cannibal Eating Animals is a hero. He's Dexter Morgan. Now, I'm not the biggest fan of the Hannibal movies and all that stuff. It's just, it's not my type of thing. I uh, understand the appeal, just not for me, right? Let's look at some of the letterboxed reviews here. Why don't we? Andrew says, I like movies where people cut skull caps off and feed people their own brain and then feed brain to a little kiddo as much as the next regular Joe. Two and a half stars. Uh, <laughs> That was an iconic scene. A spoiler for the 2001 film Hannibal. For you to shut up, dude. Uh, Isaac says, Hannibal is gay and Clarice is gay. Uh, f this movie. Two and a half stars. Uh, I don't know what you mean by that, Isaac. I don't know if this is, are they actually gay? Are you saying, are you being homophobic? Or are you standing up for the, are you saying they're doing that thing where it's like, they're not saying they're gay, but they should be gay. I, dude, I don't, towers fell down that year. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know what that has to do with anything. I'm just saying towers, you know? Dude, I'm sorry, I'm off my game. I haven't done this. I was trying to get some movies in before October, right? Because I always do the horror movie reviews in October for Halloween. I was trying to get a couple in to get in my groove before October. And then I'd be in the groove all through October. And uh, some really weird stuff happened and we had to take some time off. Keep in mind, I don't like the Hannibal movies. I understand. I completely agree with, with the average rating on Letterboxd, 3.2. Silence of the Lamb was better. Um, I would rate this movie one and a half star. Thank you for watching. Make sure you uh, like this video and uh, subscribe or whatever the crap. And uh, unsubscribe too. Unsubscribe. If you should. If you should. If you need to subscribe. If you're not subscribed, go ahead. Subscribe. If you are subscribed and shouldn't be, unsubscribe. I do this because I enjoy it. Unsubscribe. I don't like 
being on social media, but I do it just to share these videos even though all of my clicks usually come from strangers, so social media is usually my friends and family who don't really even watch these unsubscribe. And I kind of low-key prefer it that way because I don't like when people that I know watch these. Fuck you going. <laughs> unsubscribe. Uh, I'll catch you guys next time for another horror movie review.